Hello! Time to really stretch the meaning of the word extravaganza by looking at some Poundland phone charging cables for those iPhone and iPad thingies. Look, the lightning connector is what it's called. It's the same on both sides, so you can't plug it in upside down, which is nice. Less nice is that they replaced all their old um, connectors and called this one lightning, even though it doesn't transfer data any quicker. Thanks, guys. So, yes, for standardisation purposes, we shall be charging this iPad. Here it is, looking iPad-y. And we shall be charging it using this rather lovely Philips uh, USB box here, which should happily give out up to about, ooh, let's have a look, 5 volts. 8 amps maximum over them. So we're only going to be using one of them. Um, I think basically anything that will give out up to around... Yeah, I'd say anything around the 2.5 amp mark will be very, very good indeed. And will charge your iPad nice and quickly. And will charge your phone a bit quicker as well, because generally the uh, charges that Apple give you, they're really really crap. Well, the iPad one's okay, but the horrible little white plug thing they give you with the iPhone's absolutely terrible. Gives out only about one amp. Why you do this to us, Apple? Anyway, the point here is to see if the pound shops are doing us a solid by selling us a cable for a pound that will actually charge things at a decent speed. The answer is I don't know. Let's find out. I shall be using, for uh, technical purposes, the Charger Doctor, which you can plug into a USB socket. There we are. It'll already tell you the maximum voltage, giving off about 5 there, but not pulling any amps at the moment, because of course we are not charging anything. And if you want anything more technical than that, go and see Big Clive. We'll give you his link later. So, for control purposes, we shall be using the standard cable that Apple supply. Plug it in there, and turn this around so it's actually the right way. That's always good. Plug it in there, and that's giving us about 2.2 amps. That's pretty good. It's not a good cable at all. The ones Apple give you are absolutely shite and wear out really, really quickly. But hey, at least they only cost £18 million if you buy one from them. So yes, right. That is acceptable. Go over there. But I do have, for further control purposes, this rather nice cable that actually came with the charging box here. And if we plug that in, and plug this in, I'm guessing this will actually give us slightly more, because it's a slightly higher quality cable. Yeah, it's about the same, really. About uh, 2.3. This is plenty good enough. Well done. Also, why have you bothered to brand the end of the cable? Does anybody really care that much? Right, let's get into the meat of it then. I'm going to start with this red cable, which I've been carrying around with me for a while to charge phones and stuff. And I'm quite... In I got it from a pound shop some time ago. I think it was Pound World, I'm not entirely sure. But let's plug it in and see what happens. And it's giving us... one... Amp. One measly amp. I don't really think that anything below sort of 1.75 really means it's an acceptable cable. It's a pity, because I like, like flat uh, ribbon cables, but unfortunately... UNACCEPTABLE! There, we won't make that mistake again. Next up, Mobitech. This is a very popular one in the pound shops. I think this is a Poundland one, actually, if I recall. For Apple Lightning compatible devices. Also, it's a really horrible colour, which is excellent, because it means you can find it easily in your bag when you're travelling. Right, come out. We shall undo the twisty tie. It only seems uh, polite. It's quite a nice feeling cable, this one. It's got that kind of wool effect around it, which makes it feel fabric-y and high quality. But is it actually any good inside? Is it made of copper, or is it made of dust? Well, this one doesn't seem to be charging at all. That's somewhat surprising. Oh no, we're getting something. We, we had to plug it in the other way up. <laughs> and it's giving us less than one amp. That's what I think of you, Jaffa Orange Lead. Humph! Seedless indeed. Right, let's try another orange one. Now, this is a magnetic iPhone coloured cable. Or does it mean it's coloured the same as an iPhone? That makes no sense. But it is iOS 9 compatible, because, you know, it's a fucking cable. Um, this one, I think, is a Pound World band. But, uh, oh my god. It's like living in the future, where your future involves really cheap-looking cables that are incredibly short. 
<laughs> but do stick to each other magnetically. Yes, that's not really a particularly useful thing, is it? But there we are. So this one's a nice short one. Uh, that will go in like that. Oh god. At least I think it will. Oh yeah, there we go. Now surely, the, because this is so much shorter, it should be able to pull a decent current, you would have thought. And what are we getting out? We are getting out 1.76! Acceptable! You get to go over to the right side and not be completely destroyed. New and improved, but God knows how, it's our old Poundland friends at SignalX, with a woman with a bob haircut going, hey! I've got a phone glued to my ear. Transfer music, pictures and videos to your device, compatible with 2 amp charger adapters. Compatible with doesn't mean this is going to give us 2 amps, does it? I'm always a little bit worried by these retractable ones, because they always feel a little bit uh, unimpressive as these things go. Ooh, well, it stretches out and it stretches back. Right, we'll stretch it out to full whack, that seems fair. Plug it in and... <gasps> Give on. Tell us, oh, I wish we could change it. 1.3, hmm, hmm, 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 no, that's a little bit low. Unacceptable, unacceptable, death to you. Never darken our door again. Right, smart accessories. Uh, these are ones that just basically look a little bit like, um, well, the official ones really, is what we can say to that. I mean, look, clearly uh, branded somewhat similarly, shall we say. Uh, this is definitely a Pound World one. I remember buying it in there. Do not remove. <gasps> Do not, oh, anarchy in the UK. <laughs> that had some safety information on the back. Now it is unsafe. Now we may not survive. Right, let's see what this is then. Plug that in. Plug this in and oh my goodness no no what are you doing are you just whispering to it about what you think electricity is my god it's even worse the other way up I'm gonna try and destroy this for uh, maximum destroying points I wonder how uh, soft it is to snip through the answer is very soft indeed. <sighs> That's a massive disappointment, that one, wasn't it? Betty, charge your bloody phone. One metre braided cable. Ooh, another pretty braided one. A similar design to the orange, but with uh, yeah, slightly different uh, flashing on. I reckon this is going to be very similar indeed. From Smart Accessories, again, compatible with Samsung, Nokia, about... Oh, I bought the wrong one! This is a <laughs> micro USB. That doesn't count and will be moved to one side for testing later with different things. So we shall move swiftly on to another bloody Signal X. Well, it doesn't look like any other one, I suppose. You're not going to uh, claim they're ripping anything off with their horrible lime green colour. Mm. One metre long, that seems to be the standard. Right. Hmm. This is. Mm. Fairly solid feel to it, actually, no. I was going to say it feels a bit low quality, but actually pulling it now. No, this feels quite good. I have a good feeling about this one. Plus, it probably smells of lime. No, nope, just smells of cable. Right. Unfortunately, the one from the X-Men. Oh, yeah, 1.7-ish, 1.8-ish. Go on, change. Oh, it's gone down a bit. 1.5, 1.6, 1 1.8. That is acceptable, I suppose. Mm, little bit borderline. Would you really want to be using a... Mm -hmm. Oh, well, better to be massively destructive than sorry. That's what I always say. Oh, here's a good one. Signal X again. <laughs> But they've gone white because they want it to look a bit apple. Right. Oh. Signal X, you need to sort your packaging out, guys. Right. Let's just read what we can do with this. The cable can be used to charge tablet from adapter, not from computer. Mm. That is, of course, because your computer doesn't give out much current through a USB port or an external one, generally. It is changing up a bit with the changing standards and stuff, but let's have a look. Ready? Steady. And... Uh, 1.3... Mm, uh, not quite good enough, really. Not up to the sort of acceptable standard we've come to give ourselves in this very video. Please die. Thank you. 
I have one left. Now this is another slightly controlly sort of one, because this isn't from Poundland. This is from something called Chameleon Connect by Core Electrics that I picked up because it was reduced in B&Q, the sort of big DIY warehouse place. For iPhone 5 onwards. Not iPhone 5 and up, but iPhone 5 onwards. I like that. It has a pleasing uh, sound to it. From now on, everything is going to be onwards when they release a new uh, version of something. So, lightning to USB, reverser cable! So you can plug either end in either way, like a madman's dreams. Combat with 8-pin device, blah 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 blah. Right, that's just boring. Let's tear it open. This has got to be good, hasn't it? There's no way this can come out crap, sure. I'm trying to convince myself. Well, it's got a pleasing flat uh, ribbon cable, always like those. Alright, plug it in. And plug in this end, and wait for it, wait for it, oh, oh, let's try the other way round with this. See, this is annoying. If you actually paid like the full price for this, they'd sell them for something ridiculous like nine or ten pounds or something. I picked it up for like two or something, but you know, on other way up, we're giving you all the chances in the world, chances we did not give the others. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we've got a connection. Oh dear, this is not a good cable at all. <sighs> we gave you all the chances. All the chances, and what have you done? You've pissed it back in our face, Chameleon Connect. Bloody reptiles, you shouldn't be making cables anyway. Well, there we are. And that is the end of our incredibly scientific look at very cheap charging cables. So basically, um... <laughs> <laughs> the two decent ones, and that, uh, yeah, uh, hmm. everything else was a bit shite, really. It's odd, because this really did look like one of the crappers to me, but uh, seems to have done the job. So, uh, congratulations to very small orange charging cables. A phrase we use far too often on this channel, I find. But yeah, it does the job. The others bloody didn't, did they? And that is why they have now ended up in cable hell. Marvellous. Oh, it's so hot in here today, it's unbelievable. I should have reviewed an ice making machine or an air conditioner or something, but nope, just disappointing cables everywhere. Anyway, if you want to see a more technical look at sort of electronic uh, gubbinsy, have a look at Big Clive's channel, bigclive.com. That's very good. We mentioned it earlier. Look, I'll do one of those annotation box things. It's probably floating around now. My God, the future, eh? Subscribe for more.